नमस्कार मैं अपने सभी दर्शकों का और अपने सभी पार्टिसिपेंट्स का हार्दिक स्वागत अभिनंदन करती हूँ इंदिरा गांधी राष्ट्रीय मुक्त विश्वविद्यालय की ओर से आई एक्सटेंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑल द टीचर्स फ्रॉम वेरियस यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड कॉलेजेस हु हैव ज्वाइंड अस टुडे इन दिस सेशन ऑफ द प्रोफेशनल डिवेलपमेंट प्रोग्राम ऑन द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी विच इज बींग ऑफर्ड बाई द इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी today is the fourth day uh, you are in the fourth batch and today is the fourth day of the session and uh, in the earlier three days you would have uh, gone through the live sessions on various topics pertaining to multidisciplinarity uh, uh, use of mother tongue as propounded in the national education policy 2020 then uh, the role of a motivated energized faculty so for for you today in this session we will be talking about uh, student support in digital education vis-a-vis -vis the national education policy 2020 so before we go on to the uh, theme of the session and before i introduce you to our eminent resource person i would just like to uh, highlight a few things about this whole program uh, this is a six day as you are well aware it's a six day uh, training program or uh, an awareness generation program a professional development program focusing on the salient aspects of the national education policy 2020 which we are all know is the first education policy of the country uh, in the 21st century the earlier policy was in 1986 and now this was launched in July 2020 and um, uh, this six day professional development program which is being run by ignu uh, is totally online it is uh, on the lms through the lms you are being trained and as part of that training uh, it has various components like uh, you would have gone through by now since it is your fourth day today you would have gone through the uh, e textual material which is available on the portal that is uh, there are around 14 units on various aspects of the policy which have been compiled into four modules alongside that we have large number of videos which have been prepared by eminent experts uh, in the field of education technology and diverse areas um, so i'm sure you would be watching those videos as well and from today onwards you would also be uh taking part in the multiple choice questions which are offered on the platform and on the final day that is the 6th day you would be required to complete the assessment the final assessment which has 70% weightage that is the assignment uh, uh, and the questions associated with that which you would be required to answer however it the minimum duration is 6 days and we expect that you would complete the program in 6 days but you are given additional 3 days that is till the 25th you can complete the program that is you can answer the multiple choice questions and also complete your assignment in order to get the certificate of completion so this is the general structure and it is available on the uh, portal on the lms portal you you have registered on the samarth portal but the program is on offered on the um, uh, the lms portal of the nep pdp and uh, all the material as i just said is available for you to access and please go through there is also a link which takes you to the national education policy 2020 which i'm sure all our participants would have definitely gone through by now so um, coming to the uh, session today um, friends i would just like to briefly tell you that um, the uh, and of course i'm sure you all are well aware that the policy is um, kind of the overarching goal and principle of the policy is to provide holistic inclusive quality education and uh, and various new dimensions have been added to uh, you know so that the values of um, uh, lifelong learning are imbibed along with the 21st century skills uh, are also fostered a commitment to sustainable development uh, to the holistic development of the individual through education and learning that is what the policy uh, postulates and formulates and it has given us a framework to uh, for the education uh, you know the policy planners the educationers the teachers all of us to get together and implement the recommendations of the policy now how do we go about that that has been um, you know highlighted in the policy and this program also uh, exposes you to the various nuances of the policy and uh, how you are going to implement it 
Now, in this policy, the uh, basic focus is on uh, creating a digitally empowered India, a digitally empowered society uh, by leveraging the various uh, technology that is available and for and the technology to be leveraged for improving the educational delivery uh, mechanisms and processes which are in place to improve those processes um, uh, through the use of technology. So uh, before we come to the theme of the session which is um, NEP 2020 student support in digital education. To speak with us and to enlighten our audiences on this topic, um, uh, I have with me uh, to my left Dr. Sanjeev Pandey, um, who is uh, a former senior regional director with IGNU, an eminent expert and practitioner in the field of open and distance learning. Uh, I welcome you, sir, uh, to this program. No, and sure. uh, just give me a few seconds, sir. I wish to introduce you to our audiences uh, so for their benefit, so that they get acquainted with your um, a brief, a very brief uh, expertise and um, the write-up that I have. Uh, friends, Dr. Sanjeev Pandey, formerly Senior Regional Director IGNU, he has the distinction of heading all the high enrollment regional centers of Delhi. We have three regional centers in Delhi, Delhi 1, 2 and 3. Uh, and prior to that, he has also headed a regional center Lucknow. But the Delhi regional centers are high enrollment regional centers and uh, a lot of student support um, has, uh, you know, been effectively delivered uh, in his leadership. He has also held concurrent charge of registrar of the material production and distribution division of IGNU. Um, and just to uh, highlight the fact that he started his career as a lecturer in Delhi University and then he moved on to the management institute under the National Productivity Council. Thereafter, he joined Indian Council for Social Science Research and later he joined IGNU in the year 2000. Basically trained um, in the discipline of commerce, uh, Dr. Pandey is an MCOM and he has done his PhD in international business on the working of export houses and their variants and their contribution in the export promotion of the country. He was also awarded a short term fellowship from ICSSR. Apart from this, he has also done the PG, the postgraduate diploma in distance education from IGNO and he was a part of the Indian delegation representing IGNU to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia to provide tele-education linkages through satellite and optical fiber network of the African countries through EDUSAT. He effectively coordinated the implementation and operationalization of the satellite interactive terminals at various locations all over the country and their effective utilization. He has also developed a certificate program in water harvesting and management in collaboration with IGNU School of Agriculture and has also contributed by way of uh, course units, research papers, articles, um, chapters in various books of IGNU and study material of the uh, program of postgraduate diploma in international business operations of the School of Management Studies. Besides this, he has also contributed to various different policy documents of the university, delivered numerous talks, seminars, lectures, and so on. Um, he has contributed in a big way towards expansion and consolidation of the learner support system and has the unique distinction of being conferred the IGNU Gold Medal for best services of the university three times for two regional centers where he served as regional director. For the first time, it was in 2004, he was felicitated with the gold medal at the regional center Lucknow and then again in 2007 and 2015 for the regional center Delhi 2 which is presently the largest regional center in terms of student enrollment. Um, apart from that he has been a member of various statutory bodies of IGNU, notably among them is the board of management, academic council, research council, student support services, the committee on the, uh, the research council standing committee and being a member, convener, chairperson of various other uh, committees of the university which look into the expansion and strengthening the student support system. So we have an eminent uh, scholar and a practitioner, academician to talk to us on the theme of the day which is NEP 2020, student support in digital education. May I request you sir to give your presentation on the theme for the day. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ramapanji, for uh, giving such an elaborate uh, introduction about the National Education Policy 2020 and also uh, the 
various facets of the policy uh, document uh, which has uh, gone in a big way in promoting the uh, education system, bringing about a change in the education system uh, in this fast changing and emerging scenario which we are all uh, going through all over the country as also the world over. Uh, NEP, as we are all aware, was dedicated to the nation in the year uh, 2020, July 2020 to be precise. And the basic aim at that time was to provide a way for a paradigm shift in the education system of the country, to change the education landscape as per the changing needs and aspirations of the individuals within the country and abroad as well, and also to match the uh, educational system of the country, which is relevant to the emerging needs and uh, requirements and the global ecosystem. And to that extent, the NEP has laid a major focus of uh, providing holistic development of the individuals. Yeah. This is being made po possible by uh, providing extra thrust in the areas such as uh, you know uh, creating that uh, sense of uh, more understanding about the uh, critical thinking more understanding about the awareness about not only self but also about the environment which we are working and also the way in which we respond to the changes that are taking place and this is one thing which we uh, look in for particularly when it comes to the uh, providing the educational opportunities. Catering to the vast heterogeneous body of learners within the country and abroad, the policy documents specially lays emphasis on the role and importance of the open and distance education system. And it has been understood and very well recognized in the policy document itself that the ODL system has to play a major role when it comes to the uh, propagating the opportunities, providing the opportunities of higher learning to a large segment of uh, population, particularly those who are uh, socially and economically disadvantaged, coming from different strata of the society. It could be those who are living in the margins, living in far-flung and remote areas, geographically difficult areas, jail inmates, uh, you know, uh, coming from different uh, social categories. So reaching out to them has been one of the major thrust areas and of course the uh, another aspect which is very important is that uh, providing equitable access of higher education to one and all at an affordable price when we try to take into account these two particular aspects together obviously there the role of the technology assumes importance uh, i'm sure uh, many of our participants would be aware of this fact that uh, Indira Gandhi National Open University, right since inception, uh, it was established in the year 1985 and 1987 onwards, you know, we started uh, offering programs of study. And technology was one of the so-called cornerstones or one of the key uh, components of the support which was being provided to the learners right since the initial stage. Uh, initially, of course, uh, given the uh, development of the information and communication technology at that point in time, more and more reliance was placed on the uh, audio and video cassettes and subsequently uh, CDs and then subsequently, you know, transformed into the telecast media, the broadcast media. And then over a period of time, just as the advancement in the ICT takes place, the use of the various electronic media has also taken a very important shape for providing support to the learners. And in any ODL system, the student support constitute a very, very important component, which is uh, being discussed now uh, in few uh, slides uh, beginning from now about what constitute the student support and how do we try to provide support to the learners in the ODL system. Uh, just as I said in the beginning itself that uh, NEP uh, has envisioned and ensured equitable access to quality education to all, uh, covering as much possible to as large population base possible is the main vision uh, of the 
uh, NEP 2020. And the emphasis, as I said, is on reaching out to all segments of the society, especially the socially and economically disadvantaged section of the society to promote equity and inclusion in the higher education, creating better learning opportunities using digital resources for wider audience on affordable and equitable basis, because this is something which is very important. When we try to reach out to the masses, obviously the major thrust has to be affordable and equitable basis with focus on lifelong learning, which incidentally has always been the main thrust area of the National uh, University, that is uh, Indira Gandhi National Open University, right since the initial stages that learning is a lifelong process. So same has been reiterated uh, in NEP 2020 as well. And ICT to play a major role in program delivery. In any ODL system, you see, uh, the program delivery mechanism plays a very important role. And without the ICT intervention, inf intervention of the information and communication uh, technology becomes very important. And without that, uh, it is just not possible to uh, provide the support to the learners. Why at all do we need the support services uh, to the learners? To facilitate them to make appropriate choices and decisions by providing proper guidance and counseling, to enable the learners to effectively utilize the study material provided by the learners. It is not only uh, a set of the but, uh, study material which comes in the form of the book, but a specialized kind of a book, what we call as the self-learning material, which has a unique way of presentation, a unique way of uh, you know, uh, content development, unique way of segregating the entire subject matter. So how to use it, that also is to be understood by the learners. So all those things are, are required to be informed to the learners, which constitute the part of the support service. And then they provide providing opportunities of human interaction to reduce the sense of isolation. Uh, in any kind of an ODL system, you know, unless and until uh, human interaction, whether it is face-to-face uh, -face or technology mediated, uh, that interaction is a must. And the students, as for their requirement, as for their convenience, they need to have some kind of a guidance, some kind of a support from the host institution, which is provided in the form of the support service to the learners and guide the learners to use various digital and social media platforms, which in the emerging area becomes a very important thing. Uh, students are aware, the teachers are aware about the usage of the various uh, digital and social media, but then how to utilize it effectively in the process of their study, that is what is something which is very important and that's what we have been emphasizing upon. Advancement in the uh, ICT in terms of the 4G of the 5G mobile technology uh, has indeed given the learners uh, and other stakeholders easy access to the internet browsing, audio video streaming, use of various digital platforms, social media platforms to have quick and easy access. All these things we try to provide support to the learners as to how they can use it and what way they can do it. Having said this, then we have to understand that what are the areas which normally the student uh, expect to know about the uh, education programs being offered, which <coughs> goes in consonance with the requirement of their study. First and the foremost requirement is that the basic information support, that what are the various programs of the study which are on offer, what are the various admission requirements, fee structure, then what is the system of the assessment, which any prospective learner or even a current learner looking into the further uh, education would want to know as to what way it is done. Then secondly, it is the institutional support. Who are the teachers, the academic counselors whom we call in our uh, ODL parlance? Uh, who are they? Where will the counseling sessions or the teaching sessions would be held? And then how the practicals would be conducted? Would they be uh, comparable to the one which are being conducted in face-to-face -face mode or else will there be any kind of a chain? Then what are the various digital and social media platforms including the electronic media which are being effectively utilized for providing academic support to the learners? Where I'll have to go and attend my sessions, uh, of course, uh, last two years, more than two, two, two two and a half years now, things have dramatically improved, but still we are not yet fully out of the pandemic. So still, though the technology assumed the great importance, but the learning centers, the study centers, what we normally call 
they assume their own importance and they continue to be there so the students are uh, you know interested to know what uh, places they have to visit which center they will be attached to how the examination would be conducted what way the assessment would be done etc etc and apart from that how the feedback on my work would be provided to me whether i am going in the right direction or else uh, it requires any kind of a uh, change or what uh, further improvement i can bring about all those things are required now when we further filter down the support services we come down to the various aspects that uh, what was uh, conveyed in the earlier uh, uh, slide that uh, information support that gets further crystallized in terms of the pre admission counseling that is the first component of the support service that to know and inform the prospective learners at times even the current learners that what requirements the learners are required to be fulfilled and then how they are going to do the uh, study and then what are the programs what is the eligibility requirement fee structure duration what flexibility the university system provides so on and so forth then uh, what are the schedule of the admissions then pre registration particularly for the annual programs uh, of more than one year bachelor's degree master's degree and some semester based programs where for every uh, subsequent semester or year one has to re register then how will i get the study material where will i have access to the study material uh, whether it will be hard copy or the digitized format where will i get my counseling or teaching support or what we call as the tutoring support who will be my teacher when the sessions would be held how the session would be held apart from that the assignment component the project component dissertation which constitute a very very important aspect the workbook evaluation system etc etc all these things the students have this keenness to know how they are required to be done and then what were the various digital platforms or social media platforms including the electronic media is being effectively utilized for providing support to the learners including in the examination and evaluation uh, as was uh, conveyed uh, right in the beginning itself that ignu has been using integrated technology mediated support to its learners through various e platforms last two years has really been a game, uh, game changer uh, not only within our own institution but country wide the world over technology has assumed a great importance by providing support to the learners continuing uninterruptedly the academic support to the learners through use of the various e platforms it could be zoom it could be google meet it could be cisco it could be webex social media platform in uh, at uh, times live like facebook youtube uh, some other platforms such as uh, whatsapp instagram web based support electronic media uh, sms messaging also has been an important support to the learners email etc etc sir may i just interrupt you Please. for a minute because there are two three questions our Please. participants Please. Uh, they they are asking uh, want to attend the session at swayam prabha but you are i mean they must already be logged into the portal that's why they are able to ask your question over here yeah. however you will get a recording of this video once uh, this program that's is over happening. you can get it on youtube but if for the benefit of uh, the viewers if you want to know the link to this it is ignou-np-pdp.samarth.ac.in so you can log into that and you will have access to this uh, portal may please continue sir thank you uh the technology enabled or mediated support to the learners have made a perceptible improvement in the interaction with the learners academic counselors and other stakeholders uh, something which was uh, particularly when we were students you know like uh, when we mm -hmm. did our uh, studies uh, unthinkable unthinkable that uh, how could we uh, provide academic support to the learners how could a teacher guide uh, to a learner sitting at a distance using the technology now that is something which is a uh, very clear visible and of course a reality just as the participants are participating in today's program then application uh, of 4g 5g mobile technology has enabled the learners and other stakeholders to have easy access to various digital platforms social media e gam course uh, repository of the uh, digital or digitized material audio video streaming etc etc which 
provides the support to the learners. Uh, some of the major uh, initiatives that has been taken by the uh, university uh, at Indira Gandhi National University, I'm basically talking about, that uh, we have taken to provide the academic support to the learners. And SMS has been extensively utilized to, uh, it's a kind of a one-way communication to the learners, but it gives them the update uh, about the various aspects about uh, the admission-related matters, the confirmation of admission, distribution of study material, the induction program, uh, all these activities, you know, uh, which constitute a part of the uh, support service to the learners, commencement of the counseling session, the uh, schedule, conduct uh, of the program, then uh, how the uh, assignments are to be submitted, when they are to be submitted, what are the deadlines, all these things, including the placement opportunities, SMS has been extensively utilized. Uh, despite the advancement, uh, the changes that are taking place, SMS continues to be one of the most important support to the learners in terms of transmitting short uh, messages about the various aspects of the program delivery. Uh, use of web-based support or social media platform. Uh, web-based, whether it is dynamic or static support, also uh, assumes a very important thing that uh, what are the uh, different programs, you know, like uh, everybody wants to look into the so-called website of the university, everybody wants to look into the Facebook page of the university, the Twitter handle of the university, what all is being, uh, you know, initiated, what are the new developments that are taking place. So on a regular basis, some information are dynamic in nature that uh, keep on changing, keep on getting updated. Some remain static for a particular period of time that this is what is a schedule, say for example, your assignment questions, your assignment cooperate, right? they would remain static that okay for a particular session, these things are there. So that is how uh, different programs on offer, what are the different admission cycles, the uh, result, grade card status, downloads about the various aspects on assignments, past three question papers, various formats which have been uploaded for the learners to uh, facilitate them in the process of their studies because many times you know we have experienced and found that students get uh, bogged down not by the academic content but by the procedural requirements which they have to comply with uh, particularly when it comes to the completion of the program so how is it to be done what way it is to be done all those things you know we have tried to uh, upload on the website of the university including the regional centers links have been provided all over the country uh, so that the student can get facilitated and most importantly uh, placement opportunities which are available. IGNU is uh, one of the front runners in terms of in the ODL system to provide placement information and also provide placement opportunities and large number of learners having completed their program of study from IGNU are being regularly placed large number of organizations, institutions, they approach us for placement related matters and of course uh, students have been successfully uh, you know utilizing this support from the university for their placement. Sir, one uh, minute aapko aur, um, ye rokungi, sir. Yahan par kuch farmayesh hai ki uh, bilingual uh, isko uh, Achha, rakhe hai to. Thik hai, bilingual uh, kar denge. Ji, thank you. Bil bilingual kar denge. I'm sorry, mm. I should have done it or ye. शुरू से ही विश्वविद्यालय का प्रयास रहा है की जो हमारा स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट है जिसको हम बोलते हैं विद्यार्थी सेवा वो बहुत ही जिसको रोबस्त कहेंगे बहुत सशक्त रहा है और प्रयास हमेशा ये रहा है कि शुरू से जैसे हमने बताया कि एडमिशन लेने से पहले से लेके कार्यक्रम पूरा करने और प्लेसमेंट तक स्टूडेंट को हम विद्यार्थी को शिक्षार्थी को हर प्रकार हर संभव उनको हम सपोर्ट प्रोवाइड करते हैं और जैसा शुरू में भी बताया डॉक्टर हेमा पर जी ने भी कहा कि एन ई पी राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति 2020 के अनुरूप विश्वविद्यालय ने बहुत सारे इनिशिएटिव्स लिए हैं कि किस प्रकार से शिक्षार्थियों को हम लोग 
अपनी सेवाएं प्रदान करेंगे जिससे कि उनके अपने जो लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंसेस हैं उनकी जो एक्टिविटीज़ हैं उनके जो और अलाइड एक्टिविटीज़ हैं पर्टिकुलरली रिलेटेड टू देर स्टडीज वो पूरी तरह से संभव हो सके और किस प्रकार से तकनीक का और टेक्नोलॉजी का हम इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं कहाँ कैसे इसका इंटरवेंशन करना है विशेष करके एकेडमिक काउंसलिंग में और किस प्रकार से टीचिंग करेंगे किस प्रकार से सपोर्ट देंगे किस प्रकार से स्टूडेंट्स सपोर्ट हम लोगों से लेंगे आप में से बहुत सारे लोग जानते होंगे कि विशेष करके पिछले दो वर्षों में विश्वविद्यालय ने 100 परसेंट काउंसलिंग जो टीचिंग था उसको ऑनलाइन कर दिया था इस कोरोना महामारी के चलते और असाइनमेंट सबमिशन प्रोजेक्ट सबमिशन वर्कबुक सबमिशन वो सब कुछ हम लोगों ने ऑनलाइन कर दिया था तो वो ऑनलाइन कैसे हो सके किस प्रकार से हो सके उसके लिए हमने टेक्नोलॉजिकल इंटरवेंशन को और स्ट्रेंथन किया और रोबस्ट किया और अभी भी मेजर प्रपोर्शन जो है हमारा काउंसलिंग का ऑनलाइन हम लोग करा रहे हैं और स्टूडेंट्स को एक सपोर्ट दे रहे हैं और सबसे बड़ी खूबी और विशेषता इसकी होती है विशेष करके वो कार्यक्रम जो क्षेत्रीय केंद्र द्वारा प्रसारित किए जाते हैं या इग्नू मुख्यालय द्वारा प्रसारित किए जाते हैं और फेसबुक या यूट्यूब पे चलते हैं उसकी रिकॉर्डिंग भी उपलब्ध होती है जरूरी नहीं है कि बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स जिस समय इस समय कार्यक्रम चलते हैं वो उसको अटेंड कर पाए अपनी विविध प्री ऑक्यूपेशन की वजह से लेकिन बाद में चूंकि यूट्यूब से हम सभी लोग भली बात परिचित हैं और उसकी उसका किस प्रकार से अच्छा इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं उसके माध्यम से हम लोग इसके बारे में वो सारी सूचनाएं और वो सारी बातें स्टूडेंट्स को बताते हैं और वही चीज स्टूडेंट उसको देखते हैं कैसे हमने क्या किया अब देखिए ये जो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट है कि टेक्नोलॉजी का इस्तेमाल सपोर्ट में कैसे करें जैसे कि राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति ने ये बल दिया है ये जोर दिया है कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों तक हम पहुंचे वी ट्राई टू रीच आउट टू दी वास्ट सेगमेंट ऑफ दी पॉपुलेशन विच इज हेट्रोजेनस बॉडी ऑफ लर्न ड्रॉन फ्रॉम डिफरेंट स्टेट ऑफ दोसाइटी हैविंग डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड रीजन रिलीजन एरियाज मेजोरिटी बींग यू नो एजुकेशनली डिसएडवांटेज इकोनॉमिकली डिसएडवांटेज और उसमें बहुत सारे ऐसे भी लोग हैं कि जिनको हम लोग मार्जिन पे रहते हैं तो किस प्रकार से उन तक हम पहुंचे उसके बारे में भी टेक्नोलॉजी का बहुत ही अच्छे ढंग से हम लोगों ने इस्तेमाल किया है जो स्टडी मटेरियल है हार्ड कॉपी ऑफ स्टडी मटेरियल हम लोग देते ही हैं लेकिन उसको हमने डिजिटाइज किया उसका सॉफ्ट वर्जन किया है और इग्नू के वेबसाइट पे एक लिंक है ई ज्ञान कोश का जिस कार्यक्रम में किसी ने प्रवेश लिया है उस कार्यक्रम का जो स्टडी मटेरियल है उसका सॉफ्ट कॉपी या डिजिटाइज वर्जन इज अवेलेबल ऑन दी लिंक ऑफ दी ई ज्ञान कोर्स जब तक स्टूडेंट्स को स्टडी मटेरियल नहीं मिलता है हम लोग हमेशा कहते हैं कि भाई ये डिजिटाइज एस एल जो है इट इज अवेलेबल एंड यू मस्ट ट्राई टू गो थ्रू इट टिल यू सी द स्टडी मटीरियल a very important aspect which i would like to inform to all our uh, uh, participants here that uh, ignu offers 15% fee concession also to the students opting yes, for, opt for uh, digital material uh, digital mm. study or material to so, fee concession bhi hum de rahe hain jisme ki thoda sa aur encouragement mile students ko ki kis prakar se ye e gyan course ke madhyam se aap isko le sakte hain apart from e gyan course aapka app based jo hai ek hum logon ka एक इग्नू का ऐप है जो ई इग्नू ई कंटेंट के नाम से जाना जाता है उसमें भी हमारे जो स्टडी मटेरियल है वो उपलब्ध है एंड द स्टूडेंट नीड नॉट टू गो टू लैपटॉप और यू नो ओपन ए लैपटॉप और ओपन कंप्यूटर सिटिंग एट होम वाइल वर्क वाइल वर्किंग एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा यू नो लाइक वन कैन ऑलवेज एक्सेस केवल उसको डाउनलोड करना एंड यू कैन एक्सेस योर स्टडी मटीरियल वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू academic counseling which is an important part of the uh, uh, support to the learners is something which is very important and crucial uh, most of the other things which we discuss particularly providing a uh, pre admission counseling is important but equally important is the academic counseling support to the learners and as i told you in the beginning itself uh, 
during the process as well that uh, जो teaching support होता है जिसको हम tutoring बोलते हैं वो किस प्रकार से ऑनलाइन किया जा रहा है वो कैसे हम लोग डिफरेंट मीडिया को इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं खास करके हमारे जो ऑनलाइन और डिजिटल मीडिया है जो ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म्स है चाहे गूगल मीट हो चाहे जूम हो चाहे वेबेक्स हो चाहे सिस्को का हो सब जगह इसको हम लोग कर रहे हैं और इसका जो शेड्यूल है वो नॉर्मली गेट्स अपलोडेड ऑन दी वेबसाइट ऑफ दी रिस्पेक्टिव रीजनल सेंटर्स एंड दे स्टूडेंट्स आर इन्फॉर्म अबाउट इट दैट ये शेड्यूल है और उसके लिए स्टडी सेंटर वाइज जैसा भी सिग्निकेशन होता है जिस प्रकार से करते हैं बहुत सके क्लस्टर काउंसलिंग भी हम लोगों ने कराई है खास करके ये हम लोगों ने इनिशिएट किया था दिल्ली के क्षेत्रीय केंद्रों में जहां पे कि स्टूडेंट की संख्या अगर बहुत ज्यादा नहीं है तो तीन चार क्षेत्रीय केंद्रों को मिला करके पांच छह क्षेत्रीय केंद्रों को मिला करके उनका एक सोर्स के माध्यम से चाहे वो एक रीजनल सेंटर के माध्यम से एक टीचर के माध्यम से वी आर एबल टू रीच आउट टू दो स्टूडेंट्स विदर रिजाइडिंग इन डेली और रिजाइडिंग इन राजस्थान रिजाइडिंग इन उत्तर प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश एनी पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दी टाइप ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इन विच द क्लस्टरिंग ऑफ द स्टूडेंट हैज टेकन प्लेस सो एज टू इंश्योर दैट दिस सपोर्ट टू द लर्नर इज प्रोवाइडेड इसमें ही बहुत सारे जो आ, हमारे कार्यक्रम हैं खास करके काउंसलिंग वाले वो सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म पे कम लोग इसे परिचित होंगे या वो होंगे जिसको कि फेसबुक और यूट्यूब के माध्यम से भी हम लोग अपने कार्यक्रम को लाइव प्रसारित करते हैं उसमें स्टूडेंट्स टीचर्स को देख सकते हैं और टीचर्स अपना चाहे वो विश्वविद्यालय के हमारे अपने स्कूल की फैकल्टी हो या हमारे जो सपोर्ट करने वाले जो टीचर्स हैं जो एकेडमिक काउंसलर्स हैं जो विभिन्न संस्थाओं में काम कर रहे हैं वो लोग हों वो टीचर्स भी जब संख्या बल स्टूडेंट्स की ज्यादा होती है वेन वी हैव लार्ज नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वी यूटिलाइज दी सर्विसेज ऑफ दी प्लेटफॉर्म सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स लाइक फेसबुक एंड यूट्यूब इंस्टाग्राम के माध्यम से व्हाट्सएप के माध्यम से भी हम स्टूडेंट्स uh, का छोटा छोटा ग्रुप बना करके स्टूडेंट्स को हम लोग इंफॉर्म uh, करते हैं स्टडी सेंटर्स वाले अपना ग्रुप बना लेते हैं कुछ स्टूडेंट्स आपस में अपना ग्रुप बना लेते हैं कि उनकी क्या एक्टिविटीज होंगी किस प्रकार से वो लोग करेंगे कैसे करेंगे एंड दैट गिव्स एन इंस्टेंट यू नो प्लेटफॉर्म व्हिच प्रोवाइड्स एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू द लर्नर्स टू गेट द रिक्वायर्ड एकेडमिक एंड अदर अलाइड सपोर्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस स्वयं प्रभा और ज्ञान दर्शन टेलीविजन चैनल स्वयं प्रभा आप लोग भली भांति परिचित होंगे ये कार्यक्रम का नियमित प्रसारण होता है और इग्नू इसका एक नोडल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन का जो कि स्वयं प्रभा चैनल के सभी कार्यक्रमों का संचालन इग्नू के माध्यम से होता है उसके साथ साथ में एक ज्ञान दर्शन का भी एक चैनल है जिसमें कि हम लोग विभिन्न प्रकार के प्रोग्राम्स एकेडमिक प्रोग्राम्स के बारे में उसका लाइव टेलीकास्ट करते हैं और उसका रिपीट टेलीकास्ट भी होता है तो स्टूडेंट्स को जैसे कि मैंने पहले भी बताया कि नॉट नेसेसरली कि आप जिस समय कार्यक्रम का प्रसारण हो रहा है आप उस समय उसको देखें प्रयास हम लोगों का रहता है वो करें बट उसका जो रिकॉर्डेड वर्जन है दैट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल एंड द टीचर इज ऑलवेज यू नॉट कुड बी वॉस्ट इवन एट लीडर स्टेज जब भी एज ए पार्टिसिपेंट एज एन एक्सपर्ट एज ए टीचर एज ए स्टूडेंट उसको वो देख सकते हैं इन द रिकॉर्डेड वर्जन ऑफ द यूट्यूब जिसका लिंक हम लोग वेबसाइट पे दे देते हैं और वो स्टूडेंट्स आसानी से एज पर देर कन्वीनियंस दे कैन वॉच द प्रोग्राम लाइक वाइज रेडियो और वेब रेडियो इसका भी बहुत अच्छे ढंग से हम लोग इस्तेमाल करते हैं टू प्रोवाइड एकेडमिक सपोर्ट टू दी सर खास तौर से उन इलाकों में जहाँ मे भी कभी नेट की प्रॉब्लम हो तो रेडियो और टीवी तो आसानी से उपलब्ध है पहुंच जाता है बहुत बढ़िया आपने कहा डॉक्टर हेमंत जी और आज भी आज भी दूर दराज के इलाके में रेडियो उतना ही प्रचलित है जितना कि पहले हुआ करता था उसका प्रचलन ऐसा नहीं है कि उसमें कमी आई है अब लेकिन इसके साथ साथ में जो चीजें हमने बताई हैं कि भाई 
जो टेक्नोलॉजी मीडिएटेड सपोर्ट होते हैं और जो टेक्नोलॉजी मीडिएटेड हमारे सपोर्ट टू दी लर्नर्स हैं और किस प्रकार से हम चाहेंगे नॉट दैट एवरीथिंग इज वेरी स्मूथ एंड विदाउट एनी प्रॉब्लम्स देर आर सर्टन प्रॉब्लम्स एंड कंस्ट्रेंट्स वॉट वी कॉल एज दी चैलेंजेस Uh, of managing the technology enabled support services kyun ki itna brihat samuh hai itna diverse hai to un tak pahunchne mein kuch chunautiyon ka samna to karna hai lekin we are well uh, poised and well uh, prepared uh, prayas nirantar karte rehna hai aur yahi cheeze hum logon ko dhyan deni hai ki kisi bhi usme sthiti mein hum logon ko kam se kam ye zarur dekhna hai ki cheeze sulab ho sake Uh, सबसे पहला जो एक चैलेंज uh, आता है चैलेंजेस तो बहुत सारे रहते हैं uh, एक तो ये है कि एक इफेक्टिवनेस जो हमारा काउंसलिंग का है और इवेलुएशन का है जो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द टीचर नॉट ऑल द टीचर्स आर इक्वली मोटिवेटेड नॉट ऑल द टीचर्स आर इक्वली इन्वॉल्व नॉट ऑल द टीचर्स दे टीच एंड इवेलुएट विद द सेम पैशन एंड जी थोड़ा लैक ऑफ कमिटमेंट हो जाता है नॉट दैट दे Uh, deliberately do it at times because of their own oh. pressures and their own uh, uh, you know uh, preoccupations wo nahi ho pata hai to lack of commitment reliability thoda sa support services ko uh, affect karti hai technology ke madhyam se vishesh karke jaise is samay hum log ka ye karyakram live ja raha hai to aisa hi hum log agar dekhe to kis prakar se agar commitment teacher ka rehta hai agar usko sahi dhang se karta hai तो वो चीजें अच्छी चल जाती हैं अगर वो नहीं होता है देन ऑब्वियसली इट इफेक्ट्स लाइकवाइज मेनी टाइम्स बहुत सारे टीचर्स एकेडमिक काउंसलर्स बड़े शहरों में तो सुलभ हैं लेकिन जैसा आपने पहले से दूर दराज के इलाकों में छोटे एरियाज में जहां पे किस प्रकार से टेलीफोन का इस्तेमाल करना एक चीज है लेकिन टेक्नोलॉजी का इस्तेमाल करना टीचिंग में किस प्रकार से अभी भी बहुत सारी भ्रांतियां there are so many uh, you know apprehensions in the minds of the uh, people the teachers that what way it is to be done so unko train karna unko motivate karna is in itself a challenge and i'm sure that uh, ye jo initiative liya hai university you know, ka jo uh, ministry of education ke uh, usse uh, bahut sare jo issues hain they will be addressed not only in matters related to the support services but also all related matters particularly the use of the technology in providing support and also in understanding the nep 2020 in the broader perspective of providing support to the learners and what way the digital media can be effectively utilized to provide them so ye uh, train karna unko motivate karna एक और विशेष करके जो हमारे पार्ट टाइम बेसिस पे काम करते हैं वो थोड़ा सा क्वालिटी ऑफ सपोर्ट सर्विसेज को इन्फ्लुएंस करते हैं या बिकॉज सर पॉलिसी में भी इसका थ्रस्ट है सेक्शन 23 थ्री में इट्स अ स्पेशल फोकस एरिया फॉर ट्रेनिंग ऑफ टीचर्स इन यूज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर इम्पार्टिंग एजुकेशन और इम्प्रूविंग द एजुकेशनल प्रोसेस बिकॉज ऑफ यू नो द डाइवर्सिटी इन आवर पॉपुलेशन एंड द स्प्रेड सो आई थिंक दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट विच इग्नो इट सेल्फ इज ऑल्सो एड्रेसिंग यू नो ट्रेनिंग एंड ओरिएंटिंग आवर एकेडमिक फेसिलिटेटर्स इन यू नो हाउ टू डिलीवर कंटेंट एंड नॉलेज थ्रू Uh, technology mm-hmm. use absolutely correct uh, and uh, what is important is that this platform of the training of the professional development program you know this in itself is going to uh, enable the uh, participants and uh, yeah. uh, you know mm-hmm. those who are attending these programs to understand some of the basic nuances because mm-hmm. uh, a person who is well versed in the technological uh, aspect will surely come uh, as an expert and will try to explain and will try to give the various aspects which are to be taken into account these are all finer aspects you know uh, in, initially we have all type of apprehensions that what way we could do it but subsequently you know it could always be handled in a very efficient and effective manner to provide academic support to the uh, mm-hmm. participants and also to the learners uh, despite all the advancement of course uh, infrastructural facilities including the required hardware to support the latest software and other technological support that itself becomes a major impediment uh, for us uh, what way it is to be done and how is it to be done so that the jo uh, sync hai so hardware ka aur software ka 
वो थोड़ा सा चैलेंजिंग हो जाता है कई बार और उसको चाहते हुए भी एड्रेस करने में थोड़ा सा मुश्किल हो जाता है एंड ऑफकोर्स मेनी टाइम्स डिले इन टाइमली रिव्यू ऑफ द नेटवर्क लर्निंग सपोर्ट सिस्टम एंड टेकिंग अप्रोप्रिएट मेजर्स टू स्ट्रेंथ रेट इट सेल्फ बिकम्स ए चैलेंज बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी ट्राई टू डू इट हाउ डू वी गो अबाउट इट दिस इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू नो एफिकेसी ऑफ द डिलीवरी मैकेजम ग्रेटली डिपेंड्स नॉट ओनली ऑन द इफिशियंट मोड्स ऑफ द प्रोवाइडिंग सपोर्ट सर्विसेज बट ऑल्सो ऑन द इंडिविजुअल्स हु इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द केसेज आर नॉट फुल टाइम स्टाफ ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी you know there is a distinct different our commitment to the host institution to the parent organization where we are working will be definitely much more and when i am teaching on a part time basis to some other institution my commitment would be definitely be affected likewise the ict based network support service should be subjected to a regular assessment what are the impediments what are the uh, basic facts or uh, problems we are faced mm-hmm. with and how is it to be done because all these things they would Uh, come in the process of the effective implementation of the uh, not only uh, the program uh, which you are talking about but NEP as a whole yeah. when it comes to to do lots of pilot exactly. studies yes. impact yes. analysis That's all that is required yeah. then to achieve more efficient and effective as work procedure as also the work ethics need to be changed you know to make the support system more receptive to the ever changing needs and aspirations of the learners okay you know this is something which is very very important and we as an odl practitioner should develop a professional approach to effectively harness the icts in providing support to the learners which at times are unique and are to be handled differently okay. this is something which is very very important and we are able to understand this i'm sure that we'll be in a much better way to get the better understanding about the various aspects related to the support and the importance of the support services in utilizing the technology mediated uh, support of the learners and also the importance which has been attached by the NEP 2020 so this is all i feel that uh, in actual we have to say oh. uh, if uh, there is uh, something we can discuss yeah uh, can thank you so much sir for that very uh, elaborate and a very precise presentation on the theme uh, we'll be back with the uh, learners for the question answer se- session in a few seconds